Hello there. Hi. Today we want to do the interracial couple tag challenge questions. Whatever. Which really I don't know anything about. I have the questions. Hopefully he'll have the answers. I am so I. very opinionated, so I will chime in all the time. Not even when it's appropriate. When it's not appropriate. Alright. First question. Okay, well, how did we meet? Uh, met at Golden Corral. I was a manager there for a while in a little town called Aiken, South Carolina, where you came in. You were looking good. You were looking fine. You had a little marble t-shirt on, which told me that you were nerdy. I was too nervous to ask you out, so my approach was, as you're leaving, <laughs> this is creepy, but as you're leaving, I left and saw you leave, so I, I was like, okay, I gotta go out and talk to her. <laughs> you you were moving quick, and later on, I knew why, and you can talk about that, but... It's because my mom was, <laughs> she was sick. She was literally throwing up, like, over by the car, and I was going inside to get napkins. Um, he was asking me questions. <laughs> Back and forth, you're just going back and forth, and like every time you would pass me, you would ask one more question, and then yeah. uh, the questions were. I think it was, how old are you? How old are you? Do you have you any kids? kids? Do you go, Do to, you church? go to church? That's it. I said they're all the right answers, like well, uh, church, yes, uh, age. I don't know what the correct answer was, but it, <laughs> it passed. And last one was a kid, and so uh, no, no, or no, yes page number. When I went inside to grab another napkin, I wrote my number down on one of them and handed it to him because I knew that would be my last trip and then we were texting from that moment on. Anyway, that's how we met. Yeah, and I want to <laughs> clarify that I am the, I was a kitchen manager and yes, I did eat there and yes, I did vomit, <laughs> but, but <laughs> you don't typically vomit not like right then and there you would have to wait so uh, they either ate too much or had something else <laughs> going on in their digestive system from earlier uh, or they had food poisoning that was like a day or two ago eating that food <laughs> my food and what I cooked was top notch all right next question if your partner was in jail what would it be for <laughs> I thought that was a fun question murder <laughs> Murder, definitely. For me, what? My yes. If you, if you were in jail, it would be for murder. Why? You're typically good and obey all the laws unless, uh, well, you typically, yeah, so you typically don't break any laws and, and try to make sure you're okay. So you're following all the societal rules, but you're obsessed with uh, crime shows and all that and telling me all these ways of how, like, uh, I don't know, like, oh, I'll murder you, blah, 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 or something. It's just really creepy. So literally he thinks I'm writing, like, I have notebooks filled with, like, ways to get away with crime. She does. She, she <laughs> knows how to do it. I can compile them one day. Okay, and Wait then I think that, I think trespassing. <laughs> trespassing. <laughs> because we have this thing where okay. we feel so confident to just trespass. Like, when we were looking... Um, at houses this was like around when we like the first year that we were with each other we started looking at houses and anytime he would see a house he would just try to go in like at night it wasn't um, at night just walk. yeah one time we went it was not the, at we night we went through the gate we just go it, went through it, the but it wasn't night i was scared it was nighttime it wasn't well, at least that's how i remember it because i was scared <laughs> so i think it would be trespassing because um, I wanted to see what the house was about. Anybody's property. <laughs> okay. That, that's what I think. Okay. Three. Um, okay. Well, what's your race and ethnicity? <laughs> um, I always put Caucasian down. Caucasian. Caucasian. That sounds like it's culture. <laughs> Caucasian. Um, Are you guys German? I don't know. Native, I know I they know have Native American. There's a European somewhere. descent, and then there's Native American on my father's side. My father but has like someone really that too, right? came over on the Mayflower and signed the Mayflower Compact. I don't know who it is. That's just what he's told me before. It may or may not be true. 
and that we have uh, Black Hawk Sizemore in the family, and he's a, a Cherokee Indian, or was a Cherokee Indian, and that was much diluted at some point. And I, on my mother's side, she is half Nigerian, half Scottish, and then my father is African American, origins somewhere in Africa, I know, <laughs> at, to this point. Um, but once we get the um, 23 and me or the ancestry kit back, we'll know. So that's exciting. So um, next, been in any other interracial relationships? Yeah, kind of. Um, not with uh, African American. It was, uh, I kind of dated a uh, Filipino woman. Ooh. I mean, date is a very strong word. I didn't really see them that much. I don't, I didn't have. You dipped your toe in the pond. I, yeah, I dipped oh. my toe in the pond. <laughs> okay, and oh, for me, um, Yes, I have. I was in a long-term relationship with a um, white-skinned individual. <laughs> Most challenging part of being in a relationship. Go ahead. What do you think? Is this for me or for you? Um, yes. I mean, a lot of the times we don't really talk about race, um, in my opinion. But I also think that that is because I'm very light skinned and um, I myself are um, uh, I myself are kind of confused as to like what group I'm supposed to be a part of um, but we do like we talk about racial issues but not a lot it's not like every day we're overcoming these issues I don't think I don't think there's anything as far as um conflicts that arise from us being different races. What do you think? Uh, my, I think that you're right, and I agree with everything that you said, but there's at least a couple aspects. I have to really dig deep to find it, but I think with our families, they don't necessarily see eye to eye, and that may be differences in political beliefs, but also, at least with my family, I don't think they uh, they want to treat everybody as equal, and that is a problem because it's not equitable. It's not equitable. Life isn't equitable, so that that really doesn't come up too much. But there might be some plays in how they believe, and maybe that pours into the, their political perspectives as well, which is vastly different. Um, <laughs> We'll, just, we'll stop there on that. <laughs> um, okay, next one. Do you get dirty looks or stared at in public? Because we're in an iteration. Oh, do we go out in public? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did go out in public. Um, uh, we, I don't we think had experiences so. in China, but that's different. Yeah, that was in China. I think because, okay, so we were together for less than a year. Um, before we left for China. So within that time, I think we were so into each other that we probably wouldn't have noticed. I don't think we noticed. <laughs> um, then when we came back... Nobody's really questioned it, to be honest, even we went here. to bigger cities, and then... Even... Okay, so we went to visit, visit your mom. So your, your parents... Your mom lives in a small town. Oh, uh, there is that, that one. There was, <laughs> uh, I remember. So my uncle, they warned... Do you want to say that? You want yeah. to say it a lot? Okay. <laughs> my, they warned my uncle may feel a certain type of way about <laughs> seeing you. This is but, what I was told. Um, he might, he's, he couldn't really see very well though. Yeah, he couldn't <laughs> so see very well. He, um, his vision is very poor and so he might not tell, be able to tell. And I don't think he could unless your aunt said something to him. No, he never I don't. was weird or anything like that. No, he was very pleasant, very nice. I was always very um, on edge though when I was around. I was like, kind of on edge. Is anything gonna too. happen? Like, what's he gonna say? Is he gonna notice or like might get too close? You know. And yeah. whenever we did go to visit, I think I don't think my hair was um, in any kind of like I don't know normal black styles. I don't think so. I mean, not that. 
that that is an excuse and that that's okay for him to discriminate if, you know, I am black. But since he didn't say anything and there was nothing that happened, then... Another... There's one other time I can think of one. And it was when we first started dating. We didn't see this when we were together, but I had a difference in treatment for my employees at the Golden Corral. Because in a good way? In a, in, a, in a odd good way. When they saw a lot of the my employees uh, are African American descent. They're, they are uh, black. I don't know what their heritages are or whatnot, but they live in a small town. And so when they saw me coming in with a bald head and a goatee and I'm white and um, slashing hours, they associated it with me being a, a Nazi or a neo Nazi, I think is the actual term. Um, so they looked at me as, as kind of a, a, a racist person, being racist towards them. But then when I, they saw me dating you, they all of a sudden came to my defense when somebody said, oh, he's a, he's a you know, neo Nazi. Like, no, he's not a neo Nazi. Look at the girl he's dating. <laughs> okay, next question is, mm, is it difficult dating outside the race opposed to within? My issue was dating someone who spoke a different language. And, yeah, there's some difficulties with, difficulties with that, but I don't think we were intended to date anyway, so I'll just stop there. <laughs> oh, no, all if the dude is a bad dude, it doesn't matter what race they are, if they're good, <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> the, they have the same characteristics across the races. Do you like the same music? Uh, I've never been one to turn on the car radio and start singing away. Um, I don't listen to all the number one hits, and so, He fixates yeah. on particular songs. I might like a song that I, I obsess like with obsess for a while and just play with it over and over. Yeah. Um, but I don't have a particular genre that I like. It could be any genre uh, that my favorite song for the time is from. But because of that, I don't have any kind of, uh, I don't think there's any songs that I like from uh, typical black culture, um, American songs. In particular, there's one that I don't like, and I don't remember the name of it. It's Crunk, <laughs> crunk music. What? Crunk? Which one? What? The one where it's very vulgar, vulgar and provocative. Um, other people would probably be shocked to know <laughs> what I'm rapping. Yeah, I mean you can't see with my <laughs> eyes. My Little eyes are Dive wide open right now. And the East Side Boys. That kind of oh. language is so vulgar. Trina, old school Trina. Uh, <laughs> And there's, I mean, there's, to, to be fair. I just sing, I just rap it because I know it makes him uncomfortable. And he's like, what, what, what? Like, he just can't swat off all the words fast enough. Like, what, what, what? <laughs> in no way in her real life, in her normal talking, would she ever say those words. <laughs> it would never come out of her mouth. So now coming out, I was like, what? Shocked. And to be fair, it's, there's other songs that are also just as vulgar that are Caucasian. A lot of metal songs, a lot yeah, of rock I don't really songs are really, those. Those really dark are, too. Yeah, true. It's like, what? What are you doing? I think it also, um, I think it's interesting too because I, I listen to a lot of music, so sometimes he'll even be like, oh, you listen to that? Because I kind of like rotate through different genres. It surprises I think the one me I don't when you listen have to like a country. movie soundtrack. Movie. Music. Yeah, you. I love soundtrack music. I love music. So Movie soundtracks are awesome, but what surprised me was walking in and having it on your the playlist. Opera. Not the op well, not the opera, the Lord of the Rings one. Oh. And I knew, like, I'm Enya, a huge it fan of. Enya. <laughs> it, yeah. I like Enya. Maybe, anyways, uh, yeah, I am a fan of Lord of the Rings, uh, very huge into it, and I've always told all my friends growing up that whoever I date uh, or marry, they're going to love Lord of the Rings. And you don't love Lord of the Rings like I do. But we did sit down when we first started dating and, and binge through it. And when I say we sat down, it was I sat down and you slept. Well, I had already seen um, them. So he used it to was, sleep a lot. He was movies. giving me commentary during the movie. I was not. So it was going on like for was a long I? time. I, I can imagine he would I tell was. He what was on the director's cut. 
like, did you know that blah, 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 and this, and they were over there, and, and I was this, holding and back. da, da, da. Um, and I would Is just pass right you, out. You it would, was at night. You would pass out, okay, just, just to <laughs> make it clear, you would pass out for any movie. It doesn't matter if I make commentary or not. Well, do it's we the like the same itself. movie, since we're talking about movies? Um, no, I don't like scary movies, and you like scary movies. I get scared. I don't want to watch a scary movie. You're not a movie person, are you? I used to be. You just like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's not the only movie. <laughs> I like the Marvel movies. Oh, uh, okay. I I haven't been like I don't go out of the way to in my younger days and before we younger met. Years, he is. I don't know. I guess his parents were like my parents, and they didn't have a TV. But me and my sisters were burning that TV remote up, watching like all the Disney movies. All of like the 80s movies that would play on repeat, you know, whatever. Like, we're watching all of these cartoons. It seems like you don't reference anything. You, you never, like, what were you doing? What was You were I, playing video I, games, I guess. I probably played a lot of video games. I played a lot of that. And then I watched movies. What they were mostly Pepper blockbusters. Ann? You watched Pepper Ann? I think I saw a couple Recess? of episodes. Recess, I saw that. But it wasn't obsessed with it. It wasn't like I would go up in the Saturday morning and have my favorite cartoons to watch. They, I would just watch them on Disney vacation. Disney Channel movies? Uh, I Disney watched a couple shows. of them. My sisters were huge in Disney Channel, so I was on that a lot because there's nothing else playing mm -hmm. when we got home. Uh, like Even Steven and, and what was the other one? Lizzie there? McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. Do you view each other's race differently now? Oh, uh, yes. And I don't think it was. It was the relationship that changed it. it I, my my opinion changed due to cultural shifts and conversations I've had with uh, like-minded individuals on the topic. I like to discuss things political and philosophical with friends, and eventually, my mind, which was much like my parents. For obvious reasons, uh, very much in the, the the department of equal, like like we're all equal. I need to look at race as equal, and everybody should be doing the same. We should all be striving to have this equal viewership. There, there's there's no white, there's no black. Let's just make everything one. We're all humans, and just be happy. And that sounds good, but it doesn't work because the world is not perfect and you're not going to get everybody on board for that there's not going to be a utopian society where everybody's like oh we're all humans um, and even with beyond race any other stereotypes in the world that people have people are going to view people with those stereotypes so you have to recognize those stereotypes not pretend like they don't exist you have to recognize them and then actively move the line so that you're fighting against the stereotype and raising it up to create that equality and that's where my, my line of thinking has changed. No longer do I see things equal because it's an impossible thing. I look at black people like you're oppressed. Black people are oppressed and you have to make policy changes and changes in your views that recognize that you see it and push it past like you can't just choose a policy or a law or whatever that equalizes it no no you have to make a policy or a law that makes it more advantageous just to get it back into equal territory so yeah that's that's um that's what i think what about you um, do we feel different? Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm mixed already, so my grandmother's white, <laughs> um, and I had white friends and, um, white, uh, white friends and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I could, I would say, yeah, my view has changed because I did kind of view white males as kind of intimidating for a long time um, that they were always right and 
just kind of in my mind they were like this big looming image I don't know why um, but having uh, married one <laughs> and um, just having conversations with him you know and bringing it down bringing him down off I'm not gonna say like I had white males on a pedestal but we live in a world and I've been raised in a world where you know if you are white and a male then you're gonna be able to get privileges that a black female wouldn't right yeah. um, two categories that you know are thought of as lower right so in my mind I thought about that for a while I realized that I was thinking that way and yeah Mary and Chris you know, you brought them all the way down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's more like I, I view... We talked about this a long time ago, but we were saying that one thing that would be very helpful would be if everyone went into the military. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of pushback on this, but... Military or Peace Corps. Yeah. Um, where everyone out. went in, you know, everyone is the same, equal treatment, whatever, but they meet people who are of the same age because let's say they're going at the same age um and they meet people of different races different backgrounds cultures whatever and then they can break down the stereotypes right because initially you're given stereotypes by your environment be it your parents be it the way that systems work um and so you view that up from when you're a child and then you take those in and so that's the way you think the world works and if you never encounter somebody in that group then you always just think that group is like that and yeah. so we always Being ignorant we were saying that it would be nice if everyone did that like military service and then they would meet different people and then they couldn't just say like all black people are this mm. or all muslims are this or whatever I mean, they can, and, you know, they might, and then that's where, like, trying to say that there's, like, exceptional black people or something like that comes into play, and so that's a problem as well. But um, it would be a step in the right direction. So it was like that. So, like, I married a white guy. I realized that maybe they're not all what I thought they were, like, up here and maybe, like, condescending looking down on me or something like that. So I think my view has changed. Um, and it changed between And them? also with, like, your dad. Because, like, I normally oh, yeah. wouldn't... <laughs> to be honest, I normally wouldn't interact with the older white male. Um, and it's not like I avoid it, but I just never have... I don't have any in my life. My grandfather is Nigerian. And then my great-grandfather was Scottish, but I never met him, and he was, like, a big old racist. So... Um, <laughs> I, I don't really interact with any, like, older white males. Yeah. Um, but having interacted with your father and him being so, like, loving and accepting and um, knowledgeable, that's also really helpful. This is a controversial question for me. I'm going to ask it and see what you think. Okay. What is the most white or black thing about your partner? <laughs> now, I think it's controversial because I already feel like people try to put me in a box mm. like you know are you black are you white and then you know even like sometimes I feel guilt because I don't know everything there is about like black people black history you know sometimes I feel like am I taking advantage of like my whiteness like the color of my skin or whatever but like this question I feel like I don't know is it right to answer <laughs> it's it's mostly in fun and, and just, just i think so what let's see what's the the whitest thing about chris <laughs> oh so you answer, oh, I know. Okay. you know like what dave Chappelle said that white people don't use a rag when they wash no I'm <laughs> tell me you guys watch that's good so funny um okay let me think wearing um no Maybe I'll say the blackest thing about you. <laughs> what? I don't the even know. The blackest thing about Chris is that he loves macaroni and cheese. I lived on that for a good 25 years of my life, every day, and now it's affected me to where I can't really eat 
eat the fatty foods as much. What um, about me? Well, the blackest thing about you? Probably that music that you listen well to. Well done, Anissa. That, that <laughs> intense music. Either that or uh, the different styles of hair that you go with. <laughs> I think the whitest thing about me is Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Mar <laughs> we were just talking about System that. System of a Down. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. The whitest thing about you is uh, System of a Down, the music you listen to. The so music. the blackest thing you, is the music, the music and, the, and the whitest thing is the music. <laughs> uh, avocado toast. Avocado, uh, avocado toast? toast? Oh, about <laughs> Yeah, or coffee. <laughs> Is that a white thing, though? I see. Well, maybe. Maybe that's my <laughs> version of a stereotype. I, don't think so, I think white people always go coffee. to Starbucks. I don't drink... always go to Starbucks. I mean, you go to a coffee place, though. Is it true that white people have a sixth sense that they can scan where a farmer's market is within a <laughs> radius? <laughs> maybe a uh, rich white person. <laughs> not, uh, not me. Is there any traits about your partner that you're jealous of? Name one. Any traits? Mm. I think your motherly traits. I wish I had some of that. You have a patience for Freya that I do not have, <laughs> that I lack, and I struggle on a daily basis right now in my life. <laughs> with uh, dealing with Freya, Aww. I suppose. Thanks, baby. I'm trying to think. It'd probably be manager mode. So, manager mode for Chris is when he goes into this focus mindset where he is just going to get to the goal, right? So, you throw this goal in front of him, and he is just centralized and narrowed into it, and that's all. He turns off emotions. <laughs> like he's a robot until he gets that goal done um, and so and he'll get it done like and he'll do it efficiently and quickly um, and so I really uh, I get I get jealous because I wish I could do that like just like roll in on a task but then at the same time I get annoyed with it because I hate when I'm trying to talk to him and he has no emotion <laughs> what's your favorite memory of us dating um I have a couple. Favorite is a hard, hard thing to put down. I would say uh, it's a tie between the dance at Golden Corral, the the whole episode, from the apology to the dance. The whole episode. Yeah. What our life is an episode. It's an episode. <laughs> it's an episode. Twenty minute oh, long gosh. episode, or twenty four minutes, so that they can have some time for commercials. Um. It's either that or the first time we kissed. Because when we kissed, it was like what I imagined a movie, romance movie to be. And the actions and everything in it was like something you would videotape and put in a, like it was a planned out thing, but it wasn't, it was spontaneous. So oh, it's either the dance. It sounds like we went to like a high school dance at Golden Crow. <laughs> Or yeah. either um, yeah. two days after our first date, we he came to my Bible study that I held at my house every Friday night. And after Bible study, we just walked around like all night long. Until like 2 a.m. or something. Talking, just talking. It was really magical. And it just felt like we were the only ones in the world. And then we realized that we literally lived next door to oh, each yeah. other. Oh, yeah. We didn't know. That was... <laughs> and it, he was moving. He had already moved from that Yeah. Place. She lived in an apartment complex in Aiken, South Carolina, that if you exit out of it and just go over one place over, it's <laughs> my house. Where he lived in his I house. was renting that house. Um, yeah. Um, so the dance in Golden Corral. So what happened was uh, he... We were supposed to have dinner, I think. He had a meeting, I got mad, and then he was texting me probably, what's wrong? So it was enough for him to literally leave work, like during his shift and come to my house. Then he was like, come, come, come to my work now, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
So I went and he was closing up and it was empty. And then the radio was on at some point and we just danced. Like, it sounds very corny, but it, it, it it's just corny. like in the movies. It was the like music's the movies. going. Nice I, reflecting on that. Uh, oh, babe, sweet. Yes. We dance. It was sweet. So that's it. That's the interracial couple tag. Let us know if you have any questions. Comment below. Oh, Is that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I don't I don't know. You can comment if you want to. Comment below, so hit subscribe, get the bell icon, which is over here. We'll edit in the... No, we're not going to do anything. Is that what it is? Supposed, that's what they do. You like uh, edit here, subscribe here, and they'll have like a little overlay over top. Edit? edit Are here? they editing what is it? your video? No, you, like you edit, you put an edit in the video, and then you put an over, overlay for clicking and going oh, to the Oh, you're next like thing. the card is here? Yeah, I like the little card. Bell Click icon, the... <laughs> the subscribe button's down there. You should see some videos about our life in China and our some marriage really? videos. Yeah, and oh. then <laughs> um, if you like it, subscribe for more. We're just making these for fun, but we hope that it's as entertaining for you as it is for us. I just talking.